When you see a wild dog, you may ask, with their Mickey Mouse ears, their fluffy white tails, their camo mottled coats, surely they too could be man's best friend. But it would seem that Lycaon Pictus, the painted wolf, has yet to be house trained. People often ask if wild dogs have ever been domesticated. Well, the short answer is no. We don't really know why. The ancestors of all domestic dogs from the Chihuahua to the St. Bernard is the grey wolf. African wild dogs are socially similar to wolves. The pack is led by an alpha pair who are the only ones to breed. They are coursing predators just like their distant cold weather cousins. Perhaps these dogs simply refused to be our friends. Or maybe ancient people in Africa had no need for hounds. They may not live with us, but their relationship with cats mirrors the domestic scene. But the dog is seldom the victor here. Oh, she's going after the dogs again. No, go dogs! Move it! Move! There are only 5,000 of these wonderful wolves left in the wild. Disease, habitat loss and humans have rendered them endangered. So let us celebrate the wild in Wild Dog. Out here, free where nature intended. Also, you wouldn't really want them in your home. They're rather smelly. Are you addicted to Africa? Well, click subscribe and you can stay hooked to all the wild moments. If you still can't get enough, click on the little bell and you'll be notified for your daily dose of live safari.